Hey everyone, I'm Kelsey from Wearable Whisperer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Always On Display for your Fitbit Versa 2. To start, we'll press the left button to activate our clock face, and then we'll swipe to the left to reveal our apps. Then depending on where your settings app is, you may have to swipe again, and then tap on settings. So then you'll need to scroll down until you see always on display and then tap on that section and here's where you can choose to have the always on display which is a simple display to always show time stats and battery life right now it's off but I can tap once and it will turn on and this lets you know that it does impact the battery life so Fitbit states a 5 plus day battery life for Fitbit Versa 2 but with the all day display on, it goes down to two days, I believe. And this is actually the always on display. So it shows your battery percentage remaining, the date, the time, and note this does not include seconds, it's only the hour and minute. And then these two icons here are two activity stats, and there's a progress bar that shows you, progress circle actually, that shows you how far along you are to reaching your goal for the day. So if we wake up the display again by pressing the left button, I'll show you how you can customize this. So if you choose to customize, you can choose either a digital like was just shown or an analog version of the clock style. You can choose to have the status bar on or off. So if you turn it off, you won't see your battery life percentage. And then core stats can be either on or off. Let's say I turn that off. So now we'll wait about 10 seconds for the always on display to come back on. And you'll see what this looks like. So there's a very minimalistic always on display. We have just the date on the top, which seems you cannot customize to be on or off, it's always on. And you see the analog version, and there's no stats on the bottom, and no battery percentage. So if we push the button to go back, we can change this back to digital, put the status bar battery life back on, and I'll show you about customizing the core stats. So we'll turn these back on, and then customize. So you can choose a left stat. It can be either steps, active minutes, floors, calories, or distance. So let's say I choose active minutes. Then I can tap next. And then the right stat, step, floors, calories, or distance, because I already chose active minutes. And it looks like you do have to have two stats. You can't just have one. So I'll go ahead and choose calories for this one. And then you can tap save. And then I'll let the always on display come back on and we'll see how this looks. So there we go, we have our battery percentage back. It's back to the digital time. And here I have the lightning bolt which designates active minutes and the little fire icon I guess which designates calories burned. And you'll see that the calories burned is still not complete so you can kind of see at a glance how close you are to achieving your goals there so that's what I wanted to show you the always on display mode does not actually show your current clock face always on it's just this minimalistic clock face so if you're expecting to be able to see your current clock face always on or especially if you wanted to see like the number of seconds, if you work in the medical field and you need to take heart rate readings or things like that, you know, this is currently at least not an option for you. So if this video helped you at all, please give it a like as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing to my channel. It's free and I've got a lot of new wearable content coming out over the next few months. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.